Hello everyone, um, my name is James Wilson and I'm very excited to be presenting my paper which I'm starting. I will be looking at uh, applying statistical techniques uh, to clinical trial data uh, in visceral leash analysis um, with the aim of answering important clinical questions that relate to determinants uh, such as host parasite factors, treatment factors with clinical outcomes. Um, so very briefly a little bit about me. Um, I'm a clinician. Uh, up until Friday last week, I was working in the hospital in Manchester, mm -hmm. trade union of patients and uh, general medicine. Um, I have uh, done a DTMH in, in London, the Diploma of Medicine and Hygiene. I also have an MSc, uh, Master of Medical Statistics. I'm not really a normal doctor in that sense. Um, <laughs> and I also have a little bit of work in Peru. Um, so sorry for those who already initiated, but a very brief little bit about leech analysis. It's one of 20 uh, neglected tropical diseases as defined by the World Health, uh, World Health Organization. Uh, in the bottom right, you can see these diseases inside a macrophage, that's a DM sustainable macrophage, those little arrows are pointing to one amastigote, which is a single cell parasite, is leishmaniasis, transmitted by our friend up there on the top right. Uh, that's the female lobotomy in the sand fly. Um, and so, it causes three main disease entities, most commonly uh, seen in the world, cutaneous leishmaniasis, which can rarely progress to mucocutaneous, which can be quite disfiguring and stigmatizing, uh, especially in South America. What, what I'm looking at is visceral leishmaniasis, and you can see that uh, picture there of a, a child in, in South Sudan with a spleen, which is very big, um, and that's what you can see being palpated. Uh, it's characterized by fever, weight loss, uh, and in the absence of treatment, uh, death in the bowels, um, almost all cases, like 95% of cases. Um, the majority of the cases occur in very impoverished parts of the world, thank you, North Africa, uh, North India, East Africa, uh, and treatment is very challenging. It's associated with side effects, it's very difficult to access, it's, it's expensive. Um, like many of the NTDs, uh, as a result, all investment in trial data are lacking. Uh, and the data we do have are very heterogeneous, lots of small trials. The outcomes are defined in different ways, um, inconsistently reported. Because of this, uh, the standard meta analysis approach is very difficult. It's very difficult to bring all this data together. So, with EDO, uh, we have over 14,000 individual patient data records from clinical trial data. And my EFIL will be bringing together this data to increase statistical power, increase granularity in the data, to try and better answer these. Uh, questions on, on, on patient response to treatment, what is the best treatment 